Hi, I'm David Dang, and today I will talk to you about mostly DevOps pipeline. Now, as you guys all know, every company is building some kind of DevOps groups or assign people to do DevOps. And part of that DevOps process is to automate as much as possible. And one of the aspects of DevOps that most companies try to, to tackle is the what we call the development pipeline, right? How do we do continuous integration and continuous deployment? Be able to build code and deploy code automatically. Now, building the pipeline is actually in itself not that difficult. However, most companies, what they forget is how do we build quality into that pipeline. Now, what do you mean by quality? What I mean by quality is quality gates. Things that we want the pipeline to automatically do and verify so that we know we have high quality code. One of the aspects of that is, of course, unit testing. Now, you guys all know, hey, we should do unit testing. Unit testing is important. But are those unit tests that you run in the pipeline have quality? What I mean by quality, do we have enough scenario to cover the, both the positive, the negative scenario, and the boundary scenario of, of those unit testing? Another aspect of the pipeline, or the quality of the pipeline, is what we call unit integration tests. And again, um, if you will talk to developer, a lot of times they, they mention the word integration test. But for us, it's really unit integration. What that means is, if I created a method, or I update a method, or I change a method, that method call another method. Do we have tests that will make sure the interaction between those two methods works correctly? That's what we call unit integration tests. Another one is static code analysis. Now, static code analysis are tools that will scan the code to see if there is what we call code quality, right? No spaghetti coding, right? Nested if, um, bad naming, uh, whatever you want to create as a rule. Another one is what we call vulnerability. Uh, vulnerability is uh, anything in the code that will create a vulnerability to that code set. Um, one uh, example is a developer say, you know what, we declare everything as a public class. Now, that makes the code interaction a little bit easy, but it creates vulnerability into the code of other people able to access those code base. Another aspect of it is building the code. Do we have a process to build the code correctly? And then, of course, how do we set up the environment for uh, deployment? Uh, do we have things that will actually set up the environment correctly so that when there's a failure, we know it's not related to the environment? And then finally, what we call post-deployment testing. Uh, that is typically what we call smoke testing or sanity checking. And what that is, is making sure the core functionality of the application works. And if again, if it's a if it's a UI application, is something like, can I bring it up in the right URL? Uh, can I log in? Can I do some simple interaction? If you have those quality or quality gates within your pipeline, your code will be a lot more um, mature and it's gonna be have a higher quality of it. Thank you so much.